The year is 2013. You're watching your favorite Minecraft YouTuber without a care in the world, eagerly rushing home from school to enjoy their latest upload every day. Things are great. Minecraft is still a new and fresh game with content popping up all the time and the community is more popular than ever. But slowly over time, that eagerness to watch that YouTuber, that person you admired so much begins to diminish and your interest in them and Minecraft in general fades. Fast forward many years now and Minecraft has become popular again. Wanting to relive your childhood, you decide to go check up on that old YouTuber of which you have so many fond memories. For some you would see that they have stopped Minecraft and moved on and others slowly died out but still upload today with varying success. But wait a minute, what about that other YouTuber? Why is there no results in Google when you search their name? Or why do they not have any videos on their channel anymore? Why did they stop uploading? You see, what's most interesting are the YouTubers who just stopped YouTube or whose channels you can't even find on YouTube anymore. It seemed one day they were making videos and still getting views and the next they were gone. Almost like they had forgotten about the channel entirely. They had disappeared. Welcome to today's video. Now unlike videos I've done in the past covering various popular Minecraft YouTubers, this one is slightly different. You see, today we're going to be looking at four Minecraft YouTubers who just disappeared, either seeming to have abandoned their channel or their channel just no longer exists in general. So what happened? How did they get popular in the first place? Where did they go? Why did they stop uploading? Well, that's what we're going to try and find out today. So without further ado, let's begin. The first channel we're going to talk about today is kind of infamous. Xbox Addictions, a Minecraft YouTube channel which specialized in trolling videos, primarily on Minecraft's console editions. Initially creating his channel in 2011, he would upload various Xbox related videos, from giveaways to rage or freakout moments over Xbox Live. He had some early success with these videos, especially Call of Duty trolling or funny moments. Nothing crazy, but many of their videos would get into the thousands of views, which with his small audience at the time, was quite impressive. He wouldn't make his first Minecraft video until September of 2012, however, a video where he trolled his younger brother. Okay, give me a call, look what I have. Look what I have, and you're not getting any. How much do you want? Do you want period? How much do you want? This video got quite the amount of attention, as we can see from an early archive. It had about 200k views after about a year, likely suggesting it did well. And while the video could be considered kind of mean, as he was messing with his younger brother who didn't know any better, one thing was for sure, and that is that Xbox Addictions had a talent for trolling, having the perfect combination of patience and timing, not going overboard too early, creating an amusing video. Continuing his trolling videos, his channel would start getting some traction, but it wouldn't be until early 2013 where he would begin to blow up, going from gaining a few hundred subscribers each month to gaining tens of thousands. His growth would continue throughout 2014 as he uploaded more Minecraft-related trolling videos, with multiple of his uploads getting to the millions of views. In July of 2014, his channel peaked, and he gained 71,000 subscribers in that month alone. Around this time, some of his most successful uploads were where he would pretend to be Herobrine, joining other annoying younger kids' Minecraft worlds and messing with them. He would also befriend another YouTuber, Master of Luck, and create trolling videos together. And while his trolling videos still continued to see much success throughout 2015, his growth would start slowing down by the end of 2016, and continued to taper off in 2017. But through 2018, he actually managed to keep steady growth, which was quite impressive considering Minecraft was at its all-time lowest popularity. But in 2019, Things would change. But before we continue, quickly go check to see if you are subbed. If you aren't, well I'm sure you know what to do. Anyways, on the 5th of December 2019, the Xbox Addictions channel with over 3 million subscribers was terminated, gone from YouTube without warning. Now fortunately, Xbox Addictions second channel with 600,000 subscribers was safe and using that channel he was able to update his viewers on the situation, letting them know that his channel was terminated out of nowhere and he had no strikes or issues prior to the termination. Upon contacting YouTube, they stated that his channel was terminated for content which was considered bullying or harassment, likely in reference to his various catalogue of trolling videos. Understandably, Xbox Addictions was not happy, especially because he was far from the only trolling channel on YouTube, and he made trolling videos for over 7 years without any issues. Nevertheless, while his main channel is gone, there are various channels all over YouTube which have re-uploaded majority of his videos, and he even has a Patreon where he's uploaded them himself. So while the original Xbox Addictions channel may have disappeared, its legacy is far from gone on YouTube. Minecraft Universe, otherwise known as TrueMU, began his channel all the way back in August of 2010. He would initially upload mod showcases and mod reviews, seeing various amounts of success. 
Like every Minecraft YouTuber uploading in early 2011, he did his own Let's Play series, but wouldn't see success until he played through an old mod called Jurassic Craft, gaining his channel lots of attention. Now around this time, he only had about three to 4,000 subs and was seeing slow but gradual growth. As he kept uploading, however, his content and thumbnails began to improve and he continued uploading Minecraft mod showcases, challenges, update videos, and more. Things would change in early 2012 though, as he began collaborating with another small Minecraft YouTuber at the time, Sky Does Minecraft, when they both only had around 10,000 subs. And even though neither channel was big yet, they still began growing relatively quickly together. After more collabs with Sky and more improvement to his videos, TrueMU would see a massive growth spike in late 2012, achieving 100,000 total subscribers by the end of the year. And in 2013, his channel exploded, going from 100,000 subs to over a million in just a few months. He would join Team Crafted with many other up and coming YouTubers and would continue making content with them. Hi, it's me, Austin. Hi, it's me, Jason. Throughout 2013, he gained upwards of 15 million monthly views, uploading lots of successful videos that would net him millions of views. But starting in 2014, his channel began to slow down, going from upwards of 10 million monthly views to around 5 to 8 million. Fortunately, he would turn things around in mid-2015, doing relatively well for the time. But once again, things took a turn for the worse. By 2017, he was losing subs every month, and his views were at an all-time low. And this gradual decline has only continued over the past few years. So what happened? Well, one day he just stopped uploading. On October the 8th, 2016, he would upload a video and then leave the platform for three years. No mention of why, no goodbye video, nothing, just radio silence. And as you can see in the comments of that video, many of his viewers were really sad by his sudden disappearance. So why did he leave? Well, True MU was actually relatively experienced in music creation. Under his other Elias, 50 Rock, he had made quite a few tracks, with a few being relatively successful. According to some YouTube comments under his last ever video, True MU had begun producing music with Post Malone in Los Angeles, which was supposedly brought up in his podcast with H3H3. I was unable to find him saying that, but it is a likely scenario, as before Post Malone was popular, he was a member of Team Crafted and can be seen in some old videos with them, but nothing has been confirmed. After three years, he would return to YouTube and upload a video in June of 2019. He would continue to upload a few more videos all within the same time span, but they all saw very low success, and he would then disappear once more from YouTube without a trace. And that's where his story would have ended if it wasn't for the fact that he uploaded about a week ago for the first time in almost two years. Now the upload isn't Minecraft related, it was a highly cinematic video promoting his new digital art. The video only got about 15,000 views, flying way under the radar, and he hasn't uploaded since, but stated this in the comments section. The true MU channel isn't finished. You'll go message Hypixel and tell him to hurry up and finish his game. Just kidding of course, but Hytale will be hype. Whether that means he is coming back to YouTube or not, whenever Hytale is released, we won't know for some time. But it seems as if he has just lost interest in YouTube and Minecraft, choosing to focus on his other passions instead. Basher, now known as Toasty, is another Minecraft channel which had lots of ups and downs. Originally creating his channel in April of 2010, he had much early success with skit-related videos of not only Minecraft, but also of Skyrim. What is that? What is that? And his channel was quite successful early on. In fact, by the end of 2011, well before many other popular Minecraft channels even became known, he already had upwards of 50,000 subscribers. Now, unlike many of the other channels we have talked about, Basher actually saw a slight decline in viewership throughout 2012 and was actually losing subscribers by early 2013. But he would have much success with a Minecraft series called The Legend of Hobo, a cinematic short film of a hobo in Minecraft, and this series would propel his channel. His success would continue throughout 2013, gaining 200,000 subscribers in a month and netting himself millions of monthly views, likely due to his Minecraft minigame related content with other popular Minecraft YouTubers. Throughout 2013, with various mod reviews, Minecraft pranks and collaborations, his growth would continue exponentially. But in 2014, his channel began to gradually decline and by the end of the year, he was only getting around 600 subscribers a month. In an attempt to restore his channel to its former glory, he began uploading a lot in early 2015. Like, seriously a lot. In an old archive I found of his channel, we can see that he was uploading upwards of four times a day. The majority of these videos saw quite low success considering his channel's subscriber count of 1.3 million at the time. Not long after, also in early 2015, he began to get into some drama. 
He uploaded a video in early March of 2015 discussing his rough childhood and issues he had throughout his teenage years. Now I'm not going to get too into it because there's a lot to uncover, but to summarize he had various problems with his parents and school taking a significant toll on him mentally. He deleted the video not long after it was uploaded, but the following month, more and more drama began to consume his channel, and he would also feature in videos on Keemstar's channel, gaining a lot of negative attention. Good idea. I don't want to hurt people. I seriously do not want to hurt people. That's not who I am. He continued uploading to YouTube, but all the drama took a toll on his mental health, and he would often post on Twitter about how he wanted to quit YouTube, even having unfortunate breakdowns on his channel. It was clear that mentally he was not doing well. Also around this time, his content saw a slight shift. He went from doing Minecraft videos to creating, let's just say, interesting videos with his girlfriend. This also likely led to him losing his core audience. As 2016 came around, he began to lose subscribers monthly. By 2017, his view count had plummeted, and not in a happy mental state, he privated all his videos, changed his channel name to a dash, and made his banner and profile picture black, and just disappeared from YouTube. Basher went radio silent for the most part, all throughout 2018 and 2019. Then, three years later, in December of 2019, he would upload an update video stating that he was unable to cope with everything that had happened to him and that he was losing everything, including his house and more. I've lost truly everything. Like, I've lost, I've lost love, I've lost friends, I've lost family, and I've lost, I've lost everything. He stated that he was going to start a Twitch stream to help other people struggling with depression and loneliness, like he was. Two months later, in February of 2020, he would upload another video where he said he was moving to Australia after still struggling with depression. Then in July, he would upload his final video to his channel, a channel trailer for his new Twitch stream. He streamed on Twitch for about two months, but has then since stopped streaming. And that's where we are now. He hasn't uploaded to YouTube or streamed in some time, but he is still active on Twitter, and it seems that he is looking to stream again soon. He seems much happier now as well, which is good, as he did have quite a tough time throughout his career, and was honestly quite unfairly treated. Even if he did do some things wrong, he did not deserve all that negative attention he got, especially since he was already struggling with depression. Hopefully he manages to get back on his feet, but as it stands now, almost all of his channel history is private, but you can find re-uploads if you search. The final channel we are going to talk about today has actually quite a recent story associated with it. We've talked about Bajan Canadian before, in fact he was in my first Where Are These Minecraft YouTubers Now video. But recently, in March of this year, something interesting happened to him. Now I'm not going to go into detail on his channel history, because like I said, we've done that before. So instead I just want to talk about what happened. Bajan's channel had been on decline for a while. He was unable to re-establish himself in the YouTube sphere after Minecraft lost a lot of popularity in 2017 and 2018, and his view count had tanked. I guess he didn't really enjoy what he was doing anymore or was no longer proud of his content, as in February of this year, he unlisted all of his videos apart from four Minecraft parodies and has not uploaded since. He did, however, leave all of his playlists public, allowing viewers to still go and watch his older videos. In a community post shortly before he privated all his videos, he stated that when he starts to upload again, he wants to make them quality over quantity, with hand-drawn thumbnails and nice editing. He also states that he is working on a new server at the moment, and when he's done, he's going to go back to creating videos. He ends the post stating that him and the team are working hard to achieve that goal. That community post has since been deleted. About two months ago, he made another community post where he writes, Gotta win them all but is still yet to upload or give a clear reason why he privated all of his videos. He is still active on Twitter, but no new information has come out about the server or his YouTube channel. I do think there is a good chance he will come back, however, and he still seems to be interested in Minecraft and isn't done with his career yet. But that's that. If you have any suggestions or know of any other YouTubers who also disappeared, please leave a comment and let me know, and maybe I can make another part if you guys like this video. Besides that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment if you did. As always, join the Discord and follow me on Twitter. Links are down below. Thank you all so much for watching.